Welcome to King Lincoln Park, one of the original African-American beaches of Virginia. This beach was originally named after William Ward Pinkett. Pinkett, born in Middlesex County in 1877, was educated at Hampton Normal and Agricultural School, now known as Hampton University. There he trained as a tailor. Upon graduation, he opened a tailor shop in Newport News. His tailor shop operated for over 40 years. He started and conducted the Newport News Parade and Dance Band. He then purchased property on 1 Nelm Street. He was a devoted member of Carver Presbyterian Church. William Pinkett built a home on the waterfront at 6th and Ivory, which became known as Pinkett's Beach. He also built a pavilion on the beach where churches and entertainers could gather. Pinkett's Beach was the beach where African Americans could gather fish, oysters, clams, gather seaweed, and crab. It was a place of fun and entertainment. William Ward Pinkett died in 1944, but the beach was named Pinkett's Beach until 1968. And in 1968, Pinkett's Beach became Lincoln Park. And in 1984, the name was changed to King Lincoln Park. God has smiled on me, he's been good to me, God has smiled on me, he has set me free, hallelujah. God has smiled on me, yeah, yeah. he's been good, he's been good, he's been good to me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That saved a wreck like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Yeah, it's blind, but now I see. Hallelujah. God has smiled on me, He has said me free God has smiled on me he's been good he's been good he's been good to me hallelujah today I'm going to make another shea butter recipe and this will help soothe that dry skin i hope you enjoy it white and yellow shea butter beta carotene butter coconut oil cocoa butter olive butter and aloe vera butter aloe vera gel, jahaba oil, sweet almond oil, and shea nut oil, grapeseed oil, argan oil, tea tree oil, pomegranate oil, and olive oil. The very first thing I'm going to do is melt my cocoa butter. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is add my shea butter. 
This is my white shea butter. Butter. If you feel you have to put it back in the microwave for a minute, you can. <laughs> And olive butter. First oil I'm going to add is the coconut oil. to mix the butters until all of the butters are melted and if I feel I need to put it back in the microwave um, to melt it quicker I can time to start adding the oils I'm going to start with the olive oil which is going to be quite a bit is the shea nut oil. This will also be quite a bit of oil I'm using. My next step is to combine passion flower oil, sweet almond oil, pomegranate oil, Jehovah O oil, and grapeseed oil. the B A O B A B oil with argon oil, tea tree oil, and black seed oil. The last thing I'm adding is the aloe vera gel. Now that I have combined all of my oils and butter, I'm going to let this mixture cool. And after it has cooled, I'm going to blend it all together. While I'm waiting for my shea nut butter to cool, I'm going to mix my all natural bath salts. I have here pink Himalayan salts from the Himalayan mountains, pearl salt from South Africa, and the Dead Sea Salts of Israel. Hopefully, I have something from the healing tree. Oil, I'm gonna use the Shea Nut Oil. And for my fragrance oils, I'm gonna use tangerine and aloe vera.
Okay. Now to mix this up. This is the consistency that I want. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and start whipping out my shea butter mixture. butter and now to put this into um, the containers now that I'm finished making my shea nut butter cream and my bath salts maybe now I have something from the healing tree thank you